This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hey everybody, I hope you're into some group action. We brought the whole team. Come on everybody. No, say, come to the microphone. You, you know say whole works. team. David, get over Sean's here not well. here. <laughs> David, um, uh, you've been away first day back. Um, yeah. Was it everything that you had remembered at this show? Was oh. it? Oh, I know. See, the headphones, the problem with these headphones. And they bite. Careful. Seriously. Has the podcast intro changed since I've been away? What are we doing? Oh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we do a bit of like, um, this is called loose, content. Oh, okay. Yeah. This yeah. is called just content. Just having a bit yeah, of fun, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, because yeah, Amy's like, stop just reading out what's going to be in the podcast. We said, whatever's going to come out of our mouth would never have made the podcast. <laughs> right now. How would you think about today's show? Was it Heard yeah. bits and pieces? <laughs> As ever. Well. Um, yeah. So, what was the highlight? Yeah, Us you know what? I, Sean, uh, or what? Uh, gosh, so many to mention. Um, no, Caitlin mention ba- one. Caitlin Bass, it was good. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it. I had obviously I had catching up on emails. I had phone Can I calls you to something? make. Your job is to make my, 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 make sure as many people as possible are listening to the radio. How do you do that when you don't even listen yourself? <laughs> we had a gold medalist on today. What more do you want? Which one was that? Who was oh that? Are you God. joking? I He's actually worked friend. yesterday <laughs> to get this interview. Amy. I was texting I'm, people, WhatsApping people, emailing people, I'm texting them. I'm still catching up on things. Mm. But gold it sounds medalist. like a wonderful chat. I can't Matt wait to listen. Ebden. <laughs> He's a tennis well, player, hey, David. You should download this podcast. <laughs> yeah, you'll find that it. That you're on yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we talk about that. And also, what did you doodle do? What did you doodle do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You think we're joking? I know what that's from, though. What? Mm. The pole vaulter? The pole vault. yeah. yeah. No, we've got a video off your phone. <laughs> New European vacay <laughs> at your gay resort in Portugal. Yeah, your gay resort. It's, it's done some stuff. Tell you what, that was one terrifying looking doodle. <laughs> Don't worry, the antibiotics will clear it up. Oh, look, that's content enough. You, yep. um, we're not saying any more words. We don't get paid for this. Um, <laughs> play the podcast. Claire Hooper. Oh, baby. This is Nathan, Nat and Sean. Asking you about your ass game. I put my legs up in that meeting. Yeah, no, that's right. It came out. I've never wanted to put a song on more. <laughs> That's very distasteful. Uh, three past six, Nathan Atten and Sean. No Shorty Mac again no. today. Still in the sick bay or too devastated by Fremantle's loss yesterday. One point mm. at the G. He's not happy about it. I know he's not here, but he's not happy. No. Um, he said he would have won it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and you just said that they just have to play better, mm. you know? Because I thought, because on Friday we knew that mm. he wasn't here because there'd been no male winners of gold medals. But we've got, it's happened now. Yeah. We're, we're, in fact, we're speaking to one later this morning. Matt Epson's going to join us. That's insane that so we good. know him. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we know people. When someone does something really good, you question, you're like, you yeah. say, I shouldn't know you. It's like when Greg Hire won silver medal at the Commonwealth Games. I know. Like, but we know you. I know. <laughs> I was, and I was like, mm, I only know gold winners. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you at all, Greg Pyre. Who are you talking about? Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Let me tell you about what I did on Friday night. Okay. Went out, Nathan. Mm. Where? Um, what do you mean? I know, Where, I, know right? I, oh, sorry, I know, right? I know, I know. Let me, let me step you through it. You were Wait. not unconscious on the couch. No, I bought a ticket to something and went out. I don't get it. That, so that showed intent. Um, so some mates of mine, two of whom are English, mm. um, said, do you want to come look, uh, along to this thing? Um, as long as the thing comes to my house and doesn't manage while I'm on the couch <laughs> is the answer. At Frio Social, which is the old fly-by-night oh, in yeah, Frio. Yeah, yeah. Great, great, great venue. And um, it was Britfest, mm. which was five British tribute bands. Oh. So oh, let gosh. me run you through it. Who you, would you expect at a, mm, at a British okay. tribute band? Oasis. Festival, yes. Um, Tick. Uh, okay. I don't know if Oasis would be in the mix. They would put Blur in there as well. Tick. Oh. Uh, okay, so, okay, Oasis, Blur. Um, oh, I think I'm... Some, uh, oh, wait there. A quite famous band that had four members. Oh, the Beatles. Yes. <laughs> The Beatles? Yes. Tick. Tick. Okay, so I've got that, that, that. Two more. One, one, one. one a solo performer. A solo performer. So he used to it, be in a band. What era? Um, Robbie Williams, correct. Oh. Tick. Oh. <laughs> and what else? And then one from, from, from a while ago. Okay. Um, they were a little... Cliff Richard. Crazy. A band. Oh. Zelda sang crazy. about their house. <laughs> I can't get... Who Madness. Was Mad? What's madness? madness? What's madness? Our house oh. in the middle I don't know of you our sing street. that. Our house. Yeah. How do you know that's a band that is what? called Madness? 
<laughs> Very big. Literally, I am this day old. Then I yes. learned that that band, that band sings that song. It's madness. Um, sorry, sorry. It started with Blur, into Oasis, into Robbie Williams, mm. and then the, the then there was a bit of a break, and then the Beatles and Madness to round it out. So, the first three, mm. it wasn't until Robbie Williams was doing his thing okay. that I realised. Oh no. That the first three bands were all the same people. <laughs> oh, so they just went off stage and got dressed yes. and came back. Yeah. God, so you are so <laughs> primed to be cheated on, aren't you? <laughs> if you're in a relationship, the guy could literally on, just put a glass on. With no idea. So he started in a soft peak <laughs> flat cap. Like a peaky blinders. Peaky blinders hat for blur. Then he came back on with kind of a bucket hatty kind of vibe for um, the, uh, uh, for Liam Gallagher. Yes. And he kind of, for Liam Gallagher, they, he put the microphone so he was standing up to it. You know yeah. what he does. Yes, yeah. So he did that. Yeah. And then he came out in a pink suit for Robbie Williams and then I went, hang on a minute. That's the same That's the man. same guy. <laughs> oh my God. Is this what happens when I change clothes? Yes. I'm do not... people think that I'm many different ladies leaving yes. my house? <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. <laughs> That's how... He was great, the guy that did it all. Um, unbelievable. Oh, like, pulled I... it off. And it's great because, like, he sings six or seven songs from each... Each band, you know so what? it's like all the bangers. Did you? It went off. The crowd went off. It was almost sold out. Oh, that People sounds everywhere, like a lot of fun. Most of them over sixty, loving it. That does sound like a lot of fun. Not on a Friday night. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm exhausted. I, you know what? Hearing that scenario, he's a fun. That's too much for a Friday night when you're just trying to like it's keep your wacky, eyelids wild open. And wacky. It's a good thing to not know as much beforehand to yes. go in there because yes. learning could be the reason why you wouldn't go. Yeah, sure. I know. I know. I hear what you're saying. But um, I'm all about it. And I'm, no, I'm kind of sad that I discovered it was all yeah, the same guy because yeah, yeah. it would have been better if yeah. I, th- I thought I'd seen three individual bands. Uh, it's the best way to do it. If you're to show me something that uh, uh, that it will be new to me and you don't think I'll mm. like it, tell me nothing. Okay. Tell me nothing. <laughs> So don't tell no, me anything after 7 o'clock, Natalie. No, 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 nothing. He knows nothing. He's flying blind. So that's blind. great, though. I know. So who was the man's, what's night. the man's name? I don't know. I don't know. Robbie. Williams. I know you knew who Madness was. <laughs> <laughs> Madness. Sucks. It sucks. The main singer of Madness? No, nothing. No. This isn't ringing no any bells. No one in the room. I think you're the only one that knows it. No, 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 the internet doesn't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> check, check your shoes. Oh, I can't get some yeah, bad stuff. Yeah, yeah, but they found some porn, though. Yeah, Clarity yeah, on that. No, we're, we're all about that. <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Uh, T, we probably should have done this before we hired you, but we oh, have God, to do a quick yeah. medical check. Mm, um, you yeah. just coughed? Yeah. Mm, how many times have you had COVID? I've had COVID twice. Oh, interesting. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Sean, how many times has he had it? Well, he doesn't really admit to it anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, we found out. We just found out <laughs> no. that had Sean had COVID. secret COVID that he kept a secret no. from And he us. was coming to work. No, 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 when, no. When, It's just he hid it like a shame. Like when we went on holidays. He's shame Nick Manners. It's like the flu these days. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Mm. It's, it's interesting because he, he's, he's, he mm. lies. He, he's got secret COVID. <laughs> he's got secret horses. Secret They're eating. They're the horses secret that horses. Megan doesn't know about that he's got different bank accounts for. Secret junk food eating. And secret junk food eating as well. Just full of secrets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Secret Sean. Yeah. Um, interesting. Mm. Interesting. All right, so we're going to um, take some bloods after seven. Any, uh, so yeah. I might have secret COVID <laughs> too. Any other medical things we need to know about that you want to disclose to us? Uh, no, not that Can I know. Do you have that. your appendix out? No? No. I don't tonsils. have my tonsils. Do you have your tonsils? No, I don't. I got them out when I was a kid. Mm, good. Mm. That's what we requested in the job interviews. <laughs> That's what we You want a that tonsil was what was was lady. Too many tonsils. <laughs> She's, she was like 90% tonsils, she was. It's ridiculous. Thanks, Steve. It's the Nathan, Matt and Sean. Sean podcast. It's impressing um, Harry with the closeness of Natalie and my bond. That's right. Yes. Uh, you know I, my soul. Every day I go and get Harry a little treat that a 16-year-old will get excited about. Yep. Um, today it is, uh, today, Harry. A Doritos. Uh, yes, a, a mini packet fun, of Doritos. Size and, 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 oh, no, I got me dessert today as well. No, yeah. um, oh, crunchy. A little fun size. A little crunchy. crunchy. Oh, um, that is fun. Uh, he'll put it over there in the corner next to his cans of uh, Pasito, oh, Fanta and Kurt's no, Lemonade. No, no, the food, the food I eat. Yeah. The soft drink I don't. Yeah. So I said, Oh, Harry, there was two choices. I could yes. have either chosen you, you those Doritos. I said, but mm. then I, if it was Natalie, I would have gone for the other choice, which is mm. a Smith's Plain Crisp. Mm-hmm. That's right. Lightly that- salted. 
That's her favourite chip. That is 100%. My favourite chip. If I learned one thing chip. about you over That's the years, right. it's what Just chips you like. Plain, salted, yep. and mm. Smith's yep. is the superior yep. joint. Don't give her real cream. She doesn't like doesn't it. Doesn't like it. She only likes mock cream. True that. That cream in the cheap... Say another icy one. Icy buns. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I love, in my childhood, the, the biggest treat we ever got was like the long donut. Yep. With mock cream in mm. it and jam. Yep. She it's does not jam. really enjoy banana bread. It's no, too I'm banana-y. Too, uh, well, I'll tolerate <laughs> and it. And not I'd, bread enough. And, and uh, un, uh, unfortunately for your mother, I also don't like... Oh, carrot cake. Carrot cake, that's right. It's a very inferior cake yes. to me. No, I, I like carrot cake. Almost every no. cake is better. You know, if it's the only cake going, yeah. I'll have yeah. some. But any I other look, cake is superior. Let's be honest. It is a bit weird. It's got like a layer of dip on top of it. <laughs> And also carrots. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. And if there's ever a night that mm. you're going to not watch the Olympics, it's tonight. Have you been paying attention? Oh, but the um, Olympics is on. On Channel 10 <laughs> at 8.30. Uh, because our mate, Claire Hooper, oh, is on tonight. Just so that's the reason. Her. Just watch it for Hoops, her. hello. Hi. Hello, hello. So good to be back. Your best friend, Claire <laughs> Oh, look at it go. Look at it go in a winning girl's blouse. <laughs> God, we're on FaceTime right now. She's at a radio station and mm. behind it is like all this series of fine art. Like mm. there's a Van Gogh there and, and it's like radio stations are different, aren't they? <laughs> in Melbourne, guys. Wow, yeah. wow. That's Melbourne radio. Mm. Mm. Nah. Have you been getting into the Olympics at all, Hoops? Are you, are you somebody that is suddenly an expert in kayak cross? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. No, I am. Um, look, I've got... I've got the good sense to not claim to be an expert mm. at all. Yeah. We have got constantly. It is on constantly in our house because it feels like a good, um, like the kids are obsessed with screens, but somehow it feels like like it's still a wholesome way to watch screens. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. Mm. So, non-stop Olympics. Do you know what I'm loving though? I'm loving it sick. My kids are eight and ten, and I love that they have not come to grips with the fact that they are probably never going to win a medal. Oh. Like it's something they could do. Oh my god, uh, the egos on children these days. Yeah. Now, are you an old school parent and you tell them, look, you know, uh, sure, the, the saying goes, anyone can do anything yes, in this life, but, but not but, you. But you are not going to do this. I know that for certain. You, that is a really good. That's a, my husband, my husband and I keep having whispered conversations about whether we should be like breaking it to them that they probably are never going to be able to do the pole vault, like. <laughs> Like we'll just well, it just depends on how big their penis is. That's, that's, <laughs> the I mean, ball. that is a factor. <laughs> it's a factor. <laughs> You've got girls, haven't you? Yes. On the best, yeah. Well, the, but don't make assumptions about what's down there. <laughs> yes, Natalie. <laughs> um, yeah, we are really struggling with the, like, are we creating monsters with our, like, like, it's <laughs> dream big, but it's also like, but are they going to, become just awful adults who think they're great at everything. Well, yes. this is the thing. When you watch, and every year it comes mm. on, there is another singing show where mm. somebody goes on there and they say their family says they are amazing. They perform at, you know, their cousin's wedding and mm. then they open their mouth and what sounds like a wildebeest being yes, squashed too. by a truck. And then they are shocked to learn that they can't sing. They, that's what you're trying to avoid, Claire. Yes, Exactly. I mean, I even I was talking about this in my comedy festival show at Perth Fringe this year. This thing of like, I think the kids whose parents are nicest to them are the biggest monsters. <laughs> like we have our children to actually look them in the eye and say, "Your concert was no good, and we're bitching behind your back." Like you <laughs> need to tell them the truth. There is a monster under your bed. Like why are we sparing them from all the realities of life? <laughs> Tell them the truth, there is a monster, a monster under your bed <laughs> and it's pretty vicious. <laughs> and it's murdered so anyway, many kids. But like, we just don't want you to freak out. But it is, And it says, you're next. <laughs> but good night. Does that... Do you, actually, I would... Let's... Let's talk parenting, Nathan. What were your folks like? Um, well, they chose not to give me a bedroom door for my entire childhood uh, where my door opened up onto the lounge room. I've told you about this, Claire. That's right. Mm. That's right. Yeah. And you came out very successful. So I think it's time we... Yeah. Not normal, our... though. Maybe successful, yeah. but definitely not normal. <laughs> so well-balanced. Such a well human being. Well, the thing is, they back then, and um, they didn't care... Like, 
You know how now it's looked bad upon if you make your child cry on purpose? Mm. Back then, they would set things up to devastate me, and they thought mm. it was great. Like, on one day, one, one time my brother lied and said that he was getting me a computer when computers first came out, everybody. Mm. He goes, you're getting a computer <laughs> for Christmas. I've got you one. And I was like, oh, my God. So I was, With I, all of his money that he had? Well, I didn't put two and two together. So I, I'd worked since year seven, Claire, so I had a lot of savings. So I went and got him with the army surplus shop and I, shop and I got him all the army stuff that he loved. Like he had stuff everywhere. And then I wake up on Christmas Day to open up the giant box, which is a computer, which is heavy, to discover that in there was just like planks of wood and some bricks and <laughs> things to weigh it down. And Mum and Dad and Graydon were laughing their heads off. I bawled my eyes out. And and knowing that not only do I not have a computer, but I've spent all my savings on this asshole. <laughs> um, and his parents... Has turned into a therapy session, Claire? <laughs> I'm loving it. Wow. God, nice. I feel like we need longer to really unpack this story. Um, are he, can I, on the topic of children and their entitlement, we ordered takeaway on Saturday night when we were children. Do you remember how we'd be like, oh, well, thank you so much, and then we'd just be quiet and be good mm-hmm. until it, we got the takeaway. Our kids spent 40 minutes like arguing about which local vendor of food we should order from and complaining about the relative merit. It's like, no, no, no. You don't get to decide. You just get to say thank you. Do you like kids today don't even realise how lucky they are to get taken. <laughs> Can I, I tell know. you? Well, we never had taken no, because I was on a farm. This so is the, no this is the difference. This is between us and kids of today. Mm. Kids of today, the key word is options. Yes, they have. Options. And they're allowed to make decisions. We had nothing. We had we had like you know the local bloody uh, Chinese food mm. that wasn't good and a country practice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was only ever two choices. Yes, our day when computers were first made and they were made of bricks and bits of wood. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, we did, I, I didn't even get a choice with television because we only had the ABC. Yeah. So we didn't even need a remote control. I at least had the ABC and GWN. <laughs> That's right. I was in the thriving metropolis we call Gargoyle. <laughs> It's good times. Mm. Yeah. So mm. hey. um, what are your plans for today, Claire? Run us through it. Yeah. Mate, okay, all right. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna go hard and talk to you. Mm. Then we're gonna pick the oranges off the trees. We're gonna make some marmalade. Then I'm gonna take my kid to the doctor, and then I'm gonna watch. Have you been paying attention for probably, to be honest, ten minutes? Because this week I'm on it, and there's only lo- there's only so long you can watch yourself. I can imagine. I can mm, imagine. Yeah. Let's go back to the marmalade yeah, and yeah. the marmalade going into the doctor. It suggests that something about the marmalade is gonna yeah. make your kid sick. Is that what you're expecting? Oh. Yeah. No, you can't boil. <laughs> around without having a doctor's appointment already made. Okay. Or we'll just, like, whichever one hurts themselves first. We'll see you at 4.40 today. Um, I do, I do get worried for you though. You're a young woman. I feel like a marmalade's an old ladies' game. I yes. feel like you should, you're, you should be in your jam era. You're, like you're prematurely like, marmalade. Like I think girls should hold on to their jam era as much as they can until they hit the marmalade situation. And you are probably t- t- fifteen years away from marmalade, Claire Hooper. <laughs> he was going to say twenty and amended it to fifteen. Well, well it was good. good <laughs> got good visuals. <laughs> Amazing observation because we are, like, traditionally we are a jam family mm. and it is my husband who is up to, he's like, we've got these, we've got these orange trees, we've got to make marmalade this year. It's so, it's really interesting that you say that because I did feel deep in my gut, I was like, this just doesn't really resonate with me. <laughs> I'm, I miss the jam. <laughs> yeah. I now I know it's because I'm too young and vital. Yep. If yep. you if you're making marmalade um, and you do not feel uh, your underwear just under your boobs, mm. then you are too young. But that is, that cause you, is that because your boobs have lowered significantly? Both, Natalie, both, both. <laughs> <laughs> both. They're meeting in the middle. I, I mean, if that's what's required to get this marmalade made today, I will, I'll pop down to the shops first. I'll get some high pants because I don't know if you've tried. Honestly, the high, the, they are comfortable. <laughs> well, high the higher the pad, the closer to God too, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> and you can always check if you're wearing the right ones because your name's just written right there on the rim. <laughs> Just look down. Oh, there it is. Claire Hooper. <laughs> Hoops. It's been a fairly disturbing journey this morning, but um, we can check out your fine work oh, on have you been paying attention. What Olympics. Tonight on Channel 10. Exactly. There's only probably dressage or something. Don't oh, worry mate. about it. You want to watch Hoops instead. Thank you, Hoops. It's always a pleasure.
Love you guys. Bye, bye. Cheers, bye. Love it's you. 13 to 7 on Nova. Auto Flip, where over 1,000 dealers bid to buy your car online. The easier, quicker, smarter way to sell your car. Visit autoflip.com.au. Perth Traffic, Nova 937. Weather-wise, top of 20 today, a little bit of cloud around. Otherwise, not too bad. Showers developing at 21 tomorrow and then with a few showers and 20 on Wednesday. What's happening on the roads, T? That breakdown on Ocean Reef Road eastbound at Mitchell Freeway Heathridge has been clear. Traffic flowing again. The Mitchell Freeway southbound, busy Warwick Road. Cronulla Freeway northbound, slow Mortimer Road to Ankertel Road. And across the metro, a little congestion road highway at Great Eastern Highway bypass Hazelmere and Patterson Road northbound at Manda Road, Cronulla Beach. Say goodbye to winter early with Flight Centre's Barley Deals. Treat your tribe to a luxe Seven night stay from just 3499 for a family of four. Book now at Flight Centre. T, do you have strong thoughts on jam versus marmalade? Mm. Oh, jam. Yeah, jam yeah. for the win. I didn't, I'm not a marmalade no, person I'm marmalade. at all. Marmalade wasn't in the Morris pantry. Oh, no, never. Right. Yeah. It wasn't um, in mine either. Yeah, I, I'm not, not that big a, big a jam person either. What are, you, are, you a, are you a chutney or a relish girl? Oh, I do love a good chutney. I love like both. Mm. So yeah. That's really just a savoury jam. You know that, right? Yeah. Mm. You don't make enough f- for me or ever. <laughs> You've never. My point is, you've, I, I know make, you can and you don't. I don't and make that any jam. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, what are you bringing? I've made what have you done for me lately? Ooh, and that was a bit. I of don't a want hit. your chutney. I don't want mango chutney. I want normal, like, like a great. Well, you can't tell see me what chutney you, to make. I'd like. Can I give you a challenge? No, can, you make it. No, 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 no. I want to see how good you are and see if you can make a uh, a relish better than Nana Miles. No, I, I reckon, have no desire to. I was going to say, I reckon you could do <laughs> you it. You do it. Wow. You do it. That I'm not doing it. it. Why aren't you doing it? Because I have to go into the kitchen. The TV's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to go on? It's just immediately no. <laughs> should I go but on? My kitchen is a separate room <laughs> should, to my lounge room too. <laughs> I go on, Natalie. <laughs> different people, different pressures, different problems. <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. The Olympics in full uh, swing, of course. All the action from Paris. Yes. Um, you're going to think this is a story from Poland, but it's not. This is a story all about poles. That's right. Mm. The pole vaulter. You would have seen it. You would have seen it. Yeah, everybody. It was everywhere. Yeah. But he's French. His name is Anthony Imarati. Is it mm. Imarati? Imarati? I'm, mm. I'm trying to do that in French. That was Italian. Imarati. Imarati. Uh, and, uh, you know, he was doing really well until he uh, didn't clear the pole because... His penis got stuck on the bar mm. quite aggressively. Mm. Like, yeah, it, it knocked the bar off. It, it knocked, yes, the, it knocked the bar yeah, off. Yeah, it was. It, and the photos of, are fairly clear of what happened because mm. um, yes. I've studied them all. Yeah. Um, and kudos to whoever immediately mm. turned it into a meme about oh. the Fremantle Dockers the moment I the siren that. sounded <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> the moment. So um, he was on his third attempt to clear um, 5.70 metres mm-hmm. height. Mm. Uh, and then he was going over the pole and he made it clear. And mm. then his bloody doodle. The only thing that hit the pole was his An doodle. actual definition of a cock up. Mm. Oh, or, or a cock. Because he was up and it was, you know. Or a cock block, oh, some might all say. Of it, cock blocking all his own success. Of it. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, yeah, so he needed, because unfortunately his penis wouldn't um, clear five metres. Mm. So problem, it was it? just, there was two different games playing yeah, at, yeah. at all. And you know what, though? It might be slightly embarrassing, we'd think, but. It's a bit of a flex, isn't it? A little bit. A little if you bit. have if you have shenanigans going mm. on downstairs mm. that you have to be worried about getting caught on or I mean, I don't know, stood on. <laughs> Oh, like, you know, or it's, it just can't be contained. Or maybe, maybe it's you know, maybe it's so generous that pe- like so many times a day people brush brush it, brush, oh, brush past it saying. because the people aren't it, used to it something. It literally gets in the way. Yeah, I mean, the, the other Frenchman was the diver oh, who could not be held in by his well, budgie I mean, smuggler. And he has to make minimal splash. And Correct. Like, how do you do that when Difficult. you are? You're not smuggling a budgie. You've got an emu in there. <laughs> That's true. A whole emu. <laughs> Male adult one. It's extraordinary. <laughs> extraordinary. <laughs> now, I know boobs can get in the way in that they sometimes. They do all the time, and Nathan. Mate. All the time. When you're They're cooking. Difficult. Yes. Yeah, the amount of time you got cake batter on your boob, hey. <laughs> and you go, oh, you should put a top on. No idea. <laughs> But I want it's to talk. Difficult. I want to talk, uh, talk. Talk to guys, right? I would like to talk to guys. 
Mm. What a great song. Mm. Cock a doodle do. A doodle song. We want to talk to some guys about whether you got it caught mm. or you got it jammed or if it just gets it's got in, in the way. If, if it did get in the way or if it's a constant problem that you mm. have mm. and it constantly gets in the way. What did your doodle do? What did your doodle do? <laughs> what did your doodle do? Did you watch the pole vaulter? I did, yeah. It was quite mm. funny. Quite yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. I, I, he, he hit the ground and winced in pain, apparently. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it would have hurt. Yeah. 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 God, it's been, time, been a while since I've winced. <laughs> since somebody whacked you that hard. When's the last time you winced? Uh, I'm often hurting myself. So, oh, yeah. so you're like wincy? Yeah, I dropped something on my foot the so, other day. So you're thinking then... wince a week? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wincy Wednesday, <laughs> you know. Um, we are asking the question, what did you doodle do? Um, <laughs> <laughs> or cock-ups. <laughs> Either way. Or hits from the dicks. <laughs> John's in North Perth. Hello, John. No, TJ, what are we doing there, Harry? Oh. Harry, what are you doing? Hi there, Harry's just making it up. John, to hello. Hello. Hi, John. Hey, John. Okay, what oh. happened? When I was young, I was feeding geese. Yes. And I was in budgie smugglers and they thought it was hell. <laughs> they thought it was a worm. <laughs> so, yeah. That's really unfortunate. And what a traumatising <laughs> experience that must have been as a six-year-old. Now, um, did they... Um, I don't know too much about geese do, and their eating habits. So they, are they a clamper? Do they clamp on? Yes, they are clamper. Yeah, oh, and yeah. he knows for sure. Yeah. He found and out the hard way. So, like, I'm guessing clamped on, you're screaming, wing, wings are flapping in your direction. It is called yep. a pecker. <laughs> yeah, the first thing about it ended up on Funny Home Videos. <gasps> oh, John! Oh, I mean, my God. did you win anything? No, someone else filmed it. Oh, oh, and you, oh come on. What, what did their penis get bitten by? <laughs> so, what was the so, prize so, back then for Funny Oh, they funny used to give away videos? cash and... <laughs> Video uh, cameras and all sorts of things. Yeah, John? I've, I've, I've no idea what the prize was. Mm. Oh. Mm. I, I loved that. Mm. But I love that. It was he, it was him that got pegged, but somebody else got all the glory. That's Outrageous. what I loved about a Funny Home Videos. Because mm. whenever they had the people, the live people in the crowd, when they had the finals of the year, yeah. the person at the video that was usually not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. TJ's in Brabham. Hello. How you going, guys? Hey, hey, TJ. TJ. Good, what, you, what did your doodle do? Oh, well, it's not what my doodle did, it's what my pants did. I was, I, about three years, about three years ago, I'd actually pulled over to, um, while well, I needed to go, so mm. I pulled over and went to the front of my car to relieve myself, yeah. and someone walked, walked past, so scaringly I went to put it away and put the zip up, and um, I ended up having an ambulance going to the hospital, oh. and, died, and nine stitches later. No! Stitches and they oh, that was only a quarter. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this is like something about Mary, but you, you're in public, yeah. so you've just started screaming, oh and then so oh, the person yeah, who's approaching, yeah, 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 yeah. and the amount of then that looked worse than what it was because, in the sense, the amount of blood mm. it looked like yes. I'd um, mm. severed, severed an artery. Okay, so let's talk about this whole situation. Did you go, did you get the zip all the way over? Got the zip, uh, fair way up. Yeah. Fair, fair way up. So, far so, enough. so, so far enough. Okay, so, far so enough, far enough to be in that much pain that I couldn't get back into my car, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, they ended yeah. up, I, they ended up calling the person walking past saw it, <laughs> and um, the he said the other person I think was actually called the ambulance because yes. it wasn't me that called the ambulance. No. Uh, so when, because I'm guessing you you didn't want to touch that area because you knew, oh my god, this is a this is a this needs professional help. <laughs> Um, yeah. Now, did, were you conscious, or do you remember the moment where they they pulled the zip back down because it had to come back down? No, I was in that much pain. They actually put a little bit of a sedative into me. Yeah, so green I, whistle. I, they, did, they didn't knock me out to make me go to sleep, but they like, yeah. like a dentist does. So it just numbed the pain and ripped the zip open. Oh. And, um, oh. I've always I've always wondered like in that situation the medical professionals do you reckon they're like you know um, having a bet on seeing who can yeah. undo the zip because it's not you yeah. it has and, to and get done the zip, that sort of thing makes the zip stick a bit you've got to be you know really put some effort in now has it changed the modelling contract world of your penis. Mm. Mm. I do not wear pants with zippers anymore. No, I can say that much. He's an elastic man from now on. <laughs> um, or a button fly, I suppose, would be safe for you. That is the worst TJ, scenario, that is a horrendous story. To need an ambulance and for it to be because of your doodle. Mm-hmm. And a stranger has to call it for you. Oh, oh, TJ. 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 Nathan, Nat and Sean. Podcast. All news this
Suzuki Swift Hybrid is here. Australia's best value hybrid. Win $20,000. A brand new Suzuki Swift Hybrid. And a star. Hey, what's up? This is Trace Ivan. See me live. Your chance to win only with Nova. Ah, what do you know? We just played Rush by Troy Sivan. That's important. Um, time to put some people in the running for Nova's Cash Car and a Star, where somebody will win all of this prize package. $20,000 cash, brand new 2024 Suzuki Swift Hybrid, and a trip for two to NYC to see Troy Sivan live at Madison Square Garden. Pretty exciting stuff. It could be Teresa. Hi. Good morning, guys. Hi, Teresa. Hi, sweetheart. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. It's just never long enough. I know. I know. That is the problem, isn't <laughs> it? That's the thing about work. They make you come here and work. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? They interrupt your weekend to yeah. make you do it. What was the best thing that happened yeah. over your weekend? Oh, goodness. I can't really think of anything. That means nothing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> but you had a good time doing nothing. Harry's shredding your entry. Harry, you leave her alone. She's allowed to do nothing on the weekend, Harry. What's your headline from the weekend, Harry? Mum got COVID. Uh, yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all, so all. I'll shred my entry too. <laughs> so it's not that. It's not that easy. We're unshredding your entry, yep. Teresa, and putting it back go, together sweetheart. again. You're in the running. Oh. <laughs> thank awesome, you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Steph, hello. Oh, so <laughs> Harry. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Hi, Steph. Hi, Steph. You're up and about. What was the headline from your weekend? Uh, I managed to have a nap yesterday. I think oh, that's congratulations. pretty wicked. No, no. I say, <laughs> there is you. nothing more amazing than a day nap. You can sleep no better than just when you doze off on the I couch. I go, I, on the couch, I go to sleep immediately. Yeah. When I go to bed, yeah. no. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, your, you that's, your, that's your workbench though, Natalie. Are you a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a couch sleeper? Where do you nap, Steph? Oh, on the couch. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Yeah, I got my corner. Got it all set out. Oh, so you like curled up like a cat, are you? Are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you have a blankie? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, I gotta have a good checking. nap. Yeah, no, no. We're on board. We're on board. <laughs> all right. Well, you're in the running. Good luck, Steph. Hey, Natalie. Um, Kyle's from Bayswater. Do you know I've that? I've heard. I've heard. Hello, Hi, Kyle. Kyle. G'day, guys. How you going? Good, Kyle. So, Kyle, what was the headline from your weekend? What was the best thing? Oh, I took my girls to have a fish. I got bitten by some, by some mozzies. That's about it. Oh. <laughs> some mozzies. Are your girls good good at fishing? Yeah, mate. Yeah, of course they are. I taught them. Of course oh. they are. Oh, talking to yourself, a big car. Where did you go fishing? <laughs> Sorry? Where'd you go? Oh, just down to the river. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Do we eat things that come out of that? <laughs> I'm not sure. Depends. Depends. Depends on how they're looking. <laughs> what if it comes out and it goes, kill me? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the sand. Thank God you got yeah. me out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, you're in the running. Uh, good luck. Michelle's in Byford. Hello. Hi, how you going? Hi. Good, Michelle. Headline from the weekend, Michelle. Oh, my weekend. Just mm. spent driving the kids around, being mum's taxi. Oh, oh, yeah, what do they do? What, run us through the schedule. Uh, my daughter does dance mm. and my son does basketball mm. and yeah and then I got to sleep and I've just finished night shift so oh. yeah Michelle. sweetheart what sort of what, what sort of work do you do I'm a nurse yeah wow you proper work that's proper work Michelle this is what you think this is Thank the thing about it. it's so cute getting your kids into stuff but then I later know. on you go oh why did I show them anything <laughs> I should have I shouldn't have let them know anything existed <laughs> Just housework. I just know these four walls. They know school. They don't look or speak to anyone on the way. They don't know about any of it. Michelle, you can't shred Michelle's entry. She's a nurse. Why? Why? What's wrong? She's working too hard. (laughs) If you if you stuck your hand in that shredder, then you would have needed her. That's right. Exactly. (laughs) Sorry, Michelle. Michelle, Love you. We're putting your entry back together again with sticky tape. Don't worry. Alex, hello. Hey, good day. Hey, Alex. We're reading the Alex Times. We you haven't got a headline in. What is it? Oh, headline had a fantastic weekend with tons of guests at work. With what? Fantastic weekend with tons of guests at work. Tons of guests. Tons of guests. What guests? Do you yeah. run a hotel? Oh, no, uh, no, no, no. Uh, the brewery down in Burswood. Oh, oh, okay. Now yeah, you're mate, talking. Next time to say I own a brewery, and yes. we'll, we'll come to you. So, uh, <laughs> no, no, I don't own one personally, but I wish. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, close enough. Yeah. You work in a brewery. That's you, We'd like to be friends with you. Yeah. Which brewery is it? <laughs> Name drop. Uh, Fox Friday down in Burswood. Come have a look. Oh, okay. nice. Oh, good to know. What's the best thing on tap? Best thing on tap? Uh, probably one of the core range, eight beers, all Pilsners, all XPAs. Amazing mm. stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> amazing <laughs> stuff. Amazing <laughs> stuff. Okay. Hey, Alex, I've heard it's amazing stuff. Is that true? 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, we, I wouldn't drink any less. I'm I wouldn't convinced. Be, I wouldn't drink anything less. Um, I'd rather drink the beer than eat that fish, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Alex, you're in the running. Uh, Lucas is from North Perth. Morning, Lucas. Morning. Oh, Hi, Lucas. Hey, Lucas. What's, in, what's happening? What's the headline from the Lucas Gazette? Um, I finished a school assignment I've been putting off for a, a, mm. a week. A, ma- a week oh, or a month? Okay. I mean... A month. A week. For a month. Uh, what was it? Oh, it was about Nazis and stuff. Ah. Uh, did you call it Nazis and stuff? <laughs> that was the title of the word document. Nazis, Nazis and stuff, <laughs> Lucas. Hopefully yeah. more against than for. <laughs> Lucas, I don't say it. I, I'm going to say it. They're not very nice. <laughs> they're not. Okay, good to know. Like, we don't That's, even get started with, with the Lucas, stuff. you're on the right side of history. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. No Shawnee Mac today, but oh, we've gone better. We've gone taller. We've, we've recruited for heights. Yeah, what? Yes. Caitlin Bassett in and the house. And football ability, right? There we yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anything under this height cannot ride, <laughs> is what we say about <laughs> this sports report. That's exactly. the case. I've got to go. Uh, no, Caitlin, <laughs> are you okay at whistling? Uh, yes, I'm a great whistler. Are really? you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <gasps> I can do the big girl whistle with the two hands. I can do. I can't do. Whistle. I can't I can do, do any whistle in whistle out. Anything that involves things going in my mouth for oh. whistling, I just is, really? uh, can you know? I can't do any of that. No, I can't. No, whistle no, no finger whistling. I mean, I can w- barely whistle. I yeah. used to have a teacher who could um, throw his whistle. She you know, like a what ventriloquist. He would whistle, but it would sound like, like it was coming from, from the other side. Are you sure you just didn't have a friend over there that was whistling? No, it was the creepiest thing ever. Did you fall for it? He was a whistle thrower. He was a whistle thrower. And how would that help one out? I, I, I don't, how do you even know? I suppose you a murderer that? is in your house, <laughs> yes, and you can throw yes. your whistle down the hallway right. to escape. Up, yes, <laughs> yes. they don't mm. get you. They run mm. away. The reason we're asking is because we're playing wet your whistle very <gasps> shortly, yeah. okay. and you're going to whistle something. <gasps> Are you up for that? Very wide eye, wide eye. Oh, look at her. That's She's the licking spirit. the lips as we go. She's a team player. Mm. Yeah, she, that's what I like her best about that's her. That's right. Yeah, and she's taller than Sean. <laughs> we like that too. Yeah. All right. This is the Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. Wet your whistle. Wet your whistle at Frost Town, the ultimate beer and booze festival at Claremont Showgrounds on August 23 and 24. Get your tickets at responsibly. All right, strap yourselves in, everybody. We're about to play a round of Wet Your Whistle, where you need to identify the tune that Nathan and, and or Seabass are whistling today. Yeah, that what? was that. Oh, I know. Yeah, that nervous. wasn't a canary, everybody. That, that was Seabass. <laughs> um, up the grabs. Tickets to Froth Town mm. on a, for a Saturday, 24th of August. It's happening at Claremont Showgrounds, but we're yeah. also throwing in a thousand bucks cash. Oh, why wouldn't you, Natalie? Yeah. Hello, Greg. Hey, how are you? Yeah, good, Greg. Greg, firstly, are you a competent whistler? Uh, I can whistle if I have to. Yep. <laughs> if um, you have to. Yep. Well, um, are you um, just a mouth whistler or are you a, fi- are you a fingy, finger whistler? Uh, I can do both. Ah, oh, you're just showing Multi-talented. off Multi-talented. You're up against Ray from Quinn's Morning, Ray. Good morning. How are you? Good, Ray. How is your whistling game, Ray? Yeah, more of a mouth whistler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you? Can you let, get your fingers involved at all? <laughs> No, I'm not yeah, that. They click a lot. I yeah. used to put my put my fingers up to my mouth just to, oh, to pretend. pretend. Just to pretend. Yeah. <laughs> and then because like everyone else is doing that. You yeah. start and then you sort of flick your tongue back and then. No, nah, 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 you're that. saying that nah, like it's nah, easy. Nah, and my not, tongue's with stone rules. Okay, fellas, here's what's going to happen. Um, either Nathan or Seabass are going to whistle a tune. We'll give you the category of what what we're looking for. Um, if you recognise a tune, buzz in with your name. Mm. You get it right. You take that round. Yep. You get it wrong, we'll keep going. Yeah. We'll give you another shot at yeah. it. Um, let's test your buzzers, Greg. Greg. Ray. Ray. Okay, we've got five rounds coming your way. Let's <gasps> to five. We'll win. Okay, Nathan, okay. are you ready? There's, there's a lot of anxiety. So, so the category for Do the I first one? Yeah, no, we the category. Okay, so, mm. so you're going to hear mm. a tune from an ad that advertises a food franchise. We just need to know what that food franchise is. Nathan Morris, take it away. Are you ready? Have you started yet? Oh, no, I've got dry mouth. Oh, no. Take a sip. Yeah, wait, I'm just practising. He's just warming up. This isn't it yet, guys. Okay. Oh, it's not going to work. All right. Okay. (laughs) 
Any ideas? <laughs> Are you two kidding me? We play this every second on Nova. It is, yeah, 100%. We've already played it this morning. Oh, it's a great jingle. Yeah. It's a jingle for a food franchise. It's a particular country's cuisine. Yes, that's right. Hit it! I'm going to... Ray. Ray? I'm going to go... Uh, Zambreros. No, 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 wrong country. Mm, keep can't, going, can't Nathan. Can't 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 it's got a bit of rice in it. No, it's in the hub. <laughs> it's from Japan. <laughs> it goes on a train. Goes around. Greg. Greg? Is it a sushi train? No, it's not. No, it's all like that, but it's in a hub. You're closer. But it's in a hub. It's like that, but it's in a hub. Sushi hub? You got to buzz in with your name. Greg. 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 Sushi hub? Yes, Greg. (laughs) Are you seeing the answer? Are you seeing the answer? How'd you get that? Clearly cheated. Um, Greg leads 1 0. Um, all right, Seabass, so you're going to take it away. I'm worried this, about this one. We're about no, to... No, no. This is my point. This is a song. We should need the title of the song, yes, this okay? is a current song. Yeah. Okay, this is very new. Mm, it's a good song, too. Mm. All right, are you ready? Oh, my God. Yep, Seabass, so here okay. we go. I can't do oh, There's no... <laughs> Ray. Yes, Ray? I'm going to go Houdini. No. 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 It's not Houdini. I can't. No, okay. Music, ready? I'm going to do the bath whistle. Greg. Yes, Greg? Um, is yeah. it Benson Boone song? No. no. It's not a Benson Boone no. song. No. 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 Keep going. I'm gonna go. He was just in Australia. Yes. Big voice. Morgan, uh, Greg? Greg? Uh, is it Morgan Wallen? No. 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 He's just in Australia, and his last name's something you do in a pool. <laughs> At the Olympics, maybe. Okay. And his first name, his last name, is what you do in a pool. His first name is what a kid sleeps with. Greg. Yes, Greg? Teddy Swims. Yeah, but what's the song? Uh, Teddy Swims will do. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll Natalie. Natalie. All right, Teddy Swims will do. Control. All right. If he said a human Lose male, a human yeah. male song, that, that would have been correct. Greg leads 2-0. Okay. Um, so he's on the brink of victory. <sighs> Next up, we have a children's song. Yes. Okay. What's the name of this children's song? Greg. Yes, Greg, for the win. Baby shark. Yes, Greg. That was close. For the win? For the win, Greg. Oh, thank God. You're off to Frost (laughs) Town. Uh, at Claremont Showground Saturday, 24th of August, you're going to have an absolute belter, and we are chucking in a thousand bucks cash just for you, Greg. Excellent, thank you. Well played. Yeah. Ray, not so much. Yeah, once again, there was no winners today, really. No. <laughs> there were no winners today. So. Not even whistling was the winner today. No. no. People we're, just... we're going to do it again tomorrow and yep. for the rest of the week. So, uh, so um, tomorrow, Sean may be back. Yes. We don't know. We don't know. Yes, but we do know we've got another whistler in the house. Yeah, we do. Teresa. Tea. Tea. Lick those lips, lips lady. All right, she's now terrified, I think. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. You two were just discussing your whistling techniques. Another round of wet your whistle tomorrow. Uh, it's all just about the, the acoustics. Pressure. So, so I, I just went to the toilet then, mm. you know, and, and out there, uh, like, I was like a, a, a beautiful song. Like a nightingale. It, it, it echoed. It was loud. It was crisp. And then as soon as I walk back through these doors, my lips go like yeah. a cat's bum. <laughs> the, red, the red light <laughs> and comes on. nothing will come out. It's just like wispy breathing. Yeah. So I just don't... I, 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 so can, can I perform from the toilet? <laughs> 
Why not? Where, I, where I don't know I'm on, you just just cross to me. I'm in there yeah, whistling. Yeah, sure, sure. sure. Whistling you're just, the hits. So you're just going to be in the toilet whistling the hits for the whole show. Just whistling the hits the whole and show. You guys just dip in and so dip out. you don't know what's happening. <laughs> And then once we're done, yeah. you can come back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. Hey, I'm going to rock your world, guys. Are not you in though? a good way. Are you? Not in a good way. We all went to school and we all learnt stuff, didn't we? We tried, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, one thing we learnt was uh, our ABCs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I remember, I remember ele- how you taught that, the, the ABC song? Yes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, S, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Well, won't you come time, and play with yeah. me? Next time, won't you sing right. with yeah, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's not that anymore. What? what do you mean it's not that anymore? It's not Has that the anymore. Changed? It's not that anymore because kids these days are stupid. And Hashtag this is why. Ampersand. This is, no, this is why they're stupid. We, we never ever thought that LMNOP was a word. Mm. <laughs> they think LMNOP is like a letter. And then um, Y and Z, they think Y and Z is a letter as well. Y and Z. So th- it's that... It's that um, much of a problem that they've changed the tune. Now there is a different tune. And because we have that in our heads already, it's going to sound wrong and dangerous. Dangerous. Okay, (laughs) let's have a listen. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Good stuff. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I never will forget how to say the alphabet. Not my alphabet That's song. No. That's not my ABC like song. Someone asks you to recite your mobile number, and yes. you, yes. I, I do choice. it in a weird way, and yeah. not in the four, the yes. three, three, yeah. whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it always ends in L M N O P. Neighbor, can I tell you, down at our dog park, there is a dog whose name is L M N O P That's because really the cute. kids got to name it. Aww. They call her Ellie. Yeah, I mean, she's, she, she's now probably 13, 14 years yeah. old. But yeah, her name, her official name at the vet is L M N O P. Oh my God, are they going to get a Y and Z as well? <laughs> I know. Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> anyway, so that's don't let your kids. That's know the a dog. rubbish. That's a rubbish. You're letting your children A-C-D-D-D-D. learn at school. They're so soft Listen, now. Isn't it? This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Huge killer guest tomorrow, Amy. Do you want to tell everyone who, who's who on the it? show? Amy? She's so proud sometimes because she's executive producer of yeah, the this show. Is, and she organises these yeah, big yeah, stars yeah, for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tomorrow, drum roll, Harry. Harry, Harry, do you have a drum roll, please? Do I ever? Jeez, this big nose. It's a secret. Oh. Don't you bait and switch people. <laughs> it's a secret. The secret is. I cannot. <laughs> Can you tell us? Let, no. <laughs> It's embargoed. Oh, no, nope. if you check out our socials later, there will be a uh, is it clue. So, hey, is it so secretive, Amy, that, it's, that, it, that it won't be on our show tomorrow? <laughs> it's so secretive that you might not even hear it. <laughs> you might not. It's pretty secretive. So, so apart from this big secret thing that may, that may be too secretive to talk about, um, there's nothing uh, other than that? No, we've got, we've got competitions. Yeah, competitions. Yeah, we've got but, but no, no big guests or anything? No, big guests. Fun. no, there's a big guest. You just have to listen tomorrow from 8. Unless it's too secretive. <laughs> Unless it's too secretive. Then we won't talk about it, nor discuss it, nor play it. Who are you going to be, Seabass? Uh, look, isn't someone in Paris at the moment that can chat to you? I'm sure there's a million people. Mm, your, your idea is someone in Paris? Yeah, what, an Olympian. Is it Gaga? <laughs> is it Gaga? <laughs> She's very of the moment. Gaga? Is it Gaga? It's not Gaga. Oh. I don't want to... I was like to say Gaga. 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 <laughs> Gaga. I think it's Gaga. Mm. Um, Gaga. Thanks for filling in today, Seabass. Yeah. It's been a joy. Um, the whistling really threw me it through yeah. a loop. I was this a This is my lot. point mm. with, with uh, Nat and Sean when I talk to them about the performance part of that. You feel so alone in a room full of people. <laughs> because you were whistling up at storm yeah, she was, yeah. until yeah. you were required to do it on yeah. air pressure. for the yeah. competition. Yeah. Yeah. The it's pressure tough. really yeah. got to We get it. Yeah, then it was just an unmoisturised. Cats bum your mouth. You've got to be a triple threat to sit in this chair, I've realised. You've got to be able to whistle, yeah. you've got to be able to 
able to play sport yeah. and you've got to be ridiculously good looking. It's so, so good looking. <laughs> like, actually, like, to the point where people go, why Why are they on radio? People need to see their beauty. Yeah, it's true. It's Hence why the socials yeah. are just yeah. a waste. Yeah. And what we do with the, what, any socials and stuff we do, what we do is we get Sam to put it through this, like, uh, like a normal person filter <laughs> just to make us just, more relatable. Yeah. That's right. Um, because just so like, we don't feel as yeah. bad. Yeah, because, like, you know. <laughs> to be in your presence. Yeah. But don't no, people hating you because, you know, you're like born this way. Mm. Hey, hot Ross. Gaga! Don't you hot Ross. <laughs> Gaga! Just Ross is fine. Hey, Ross. Hey, and you don't know it's not Gaga, right? Because you don't know it's that secretive. Yeah, I, yeah. I would not know if it's mm. Gaga or Gaga mm. or whoever else strolls into the building. Or you know what? More than likely, it could be nothing or no one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's the best type of secret where you don't have to do anything and you don't do <laughs> anything. Barely ever going to be Sean. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even, he's still very much uh, up in the air. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I ran into him in Frio the other, oh, on Saturday. Did you? Oh, but mm. he was too sick to come to work. That's he, he did he was sound. Sick, he was sick to come. Too sick to come to work on Friday and too. Sick to come to work on Monday. Why would he, he be did. out and about on a Saturday? Oh, Where geez. was he? he? He was at the footy, but he, he, he sounded <laughs> terrible. He sounded... Oh, jeez, I've started something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Sh- sorry, Ross. Sorry, Ross. We're good. Our show's going to go a little bit longer. 13, 24, 10. Who saw Sean out? <laughs> oh, if you saw Sean out over the week... I'm being serious. If you saw Sean out over the weekend, yeah. we would like you to speak to us and have a health check. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I know, because yeah, yeah. He's, he was too sick on Friday and too sick today. So it's hard to believe that yeah. in between times um, he look, was fine Honestly, if, if someone does call us and, you mm. know, if they saw mm. Sean out, um, uh, like if we believe you... And it's a good so far, report. you're winning, Ross. Um, we'll give somebody a double <laughs> pass calling. to um, Hairspray the Musical. <laughs> oh, so yeah, that's true. We'll give someone something. Thank you, right. Sean. I, I'll, I'll take the calls if you call 13, 20, 10. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.